Hello everyone, my name is Derek P. Fields. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, do me a favor, hit that subscription button if you're moved to do so. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, get involved. That's what I ask, uh, so do that. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the success of my last video. Got a lot of love, I appreciate that. I wanted to, to get this out as soon as possible, but you know, work and stuff like that will conflict with what you need to do and trying to get YouTube videos out. And since I'm trying to use the microphone and edit and all that stuff, then it takes a little longer. But I don't know if you guys have seen this, but last night, Jeopardy had uh, a question about the Detroit Lions. Let's take a look at it. Let's do predictions by 2030 for 600, please. As of 2018, this NFC North team had never even made the Super Bowl, much less won it. But by 2030, got to happen, right? Jay? Who are the Detroit Lions? Yes. So here it is. Jeopardy completely clowns the Detroit Lions. Uh, as you can see, even Jeopardy, the Detroit Lions are a joke. They've, they've been since 1957. They've had glimmers of, of hope. Now, I don't want to seem like that I am just destroying them. But part of me is just, I'm, I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm kind of drifting away from, from them. Not necessarily looking for a new team, but to get involved in any sport, any any commit to anything over and over and over years and years and years of disappointment um and after all this is just a game right but i want want to ask you guys in youtube land what is what do you take this comment as did the the detroit lions were just what are the detroit lions that was and alex trebek his his i don't know like his demeanor and his the way he said that is correct or whatever he said it was kind of like i don't know it, it just was it, it, i don't know i took it real personal i took it, even though i don't i don't know these people on the team i don't play this game but i took it real personal like man we are the laughing stock of all sports so yeah yeah maybe we'll talk about that a little bit more later but it's another thing too i wanted to kind of address real quick i'm not gonna make this video too long um, and that is the issue of tanking. I've been hearing a lot of things about the Lions should tank and, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But to me, tanking is unacceptable in any sport. It's unacceptable for the city of Detroit and their franchise to do it. Let me tell you why, in my opinion. Tanking is the act of giving up a match or throwing it away losing intentionally or not compete competing now this is of course from the urban dictionary um, and there was another if you google the word tank because i think i'm in yahoo right now but if you use the google search engine it might come up with a more intense meaning but my thing is this what is tanking going to do for the detroit lions um also why would you want to see your your team tank so they can get better? There's no guarantee that your team is going to get better. In addition to that, Detroit is 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 based on the Motor City, uh, hard work, blue collar workers. We don't tank. Detroiters. That's not what that what what the city of Detroit is about. So for everybody to say that the Detroit Lions should tank, it's kind of offensive because this is a professional sports team that I want to now, I get mad for losing, right? I get disappointed, but I want them to go lose on purpose so they can ensure a higher draft pick to potentially do better in years to come. That's not what the city of Detroit is all about. And once again, everybody's entitled to their own opinion.
But that's not what the city of Detroit is all about. Not at all. What does that say if your team tanks? They're intentionally losing. They're not even putting forth the effort. Now, do they need to play Matthew Stafford or do they need to play their top tier first string? Absolutely not. Matthew Stafford, should, he should sit. I don't care that he got all that money. Season is done. If we're going to use him for next season, he needs to. He, he's done. Let Matt Castle play. Let Jake Ruddock play, whatever. Uh, throw the third, fourth string, um, second and third string in there. Um, but for them to intentionally lose games is not what the city of Detroit is all about. And to be honest with you, we've proven over the last 10 or 15 years that no matter what draft pick the Detroit Lions get, it's not going to matter. So if you think that the Lions tanking, the Lions should tank to ensure more success for next season, I think that you're mistaken. Once again, this is just my opinion. But it's been going around. I've never heard the word tank so much regarding an NFL team as I have heard this season about the Detroit Lions. It's it's not acceptable. There is absolutely no... I would not want to watch a football team that tanked the previous year to ensure success. You know how they get success? Hard work, uh, strategy. The organization needs to change as a whole. You think the tank? Why? Why do you think that Calvin Johnson, in in all his greatness, couldn't couldn't take this team anywhere? Why do you think that Matthew Stafford, being a number one pick? And the many of other number one picks and top 10 picks that we've had in this city are unable to succeed. And then they go somewhere else. And then they go somewhere else and they win championships. That's just how it is. It's not. If any, if that should tell you anything, it should tell you that it's not the it's not the team or it's not the city. It's not the team. OK. It's the team, but it's not the team. It's who owns the team. It's who runs the team. So let's stop using the word tank. NBA, the, I just I, I say this. The Detroit Pistons. Remember the Detroit Pistons after Joe D, uh, Isaiah Thomas, and the Bad Boys, they kind of, they were done, right? So Isaiah Thomas, everybody, that those Detroit Pistons start to leave, right? So then what happens? We start to rebuild. We get the ugly till jerseys. Grant Hill comes in. He can't do it all by himself. Jerry Stackhouse comes in. He can't do it all by himself. Next thing you know, after years and years of years of being at the bottom in the cellar, we start to come up. Oh, we start making the playoffs. Oh, we start moving up in seeds. Oh, early 2000s come. We're getting there. 2003, 4, 2004 through 2008, the Pistons dominated. They really did. They should have won the title in 2005. One bad defensive play away from winning a a back-to-back title. And then from there, it was kind of downhill. But what did they do? They, They built a team like the Lions have been doing for decades. But the common denominator with the Detroit Lions is the, the Ford organization. Just saying. So you think that tanking is the answer? I think you're mistaken but once again that is just my opinion um i am quite tired of hearing it i don't want to i'm there's no way i'm gonna support a team that tanks that's it if you lose regularly and you're trying i'm not gonna support you because you're not trying and then what are you gonna show me you even if i did support you is that going to guarantee that next year you're going to win a championship you're going to go to a super bowl you're going to win a super bowl i don't think so so let's stop throwing that word for any of our any of the city of detroit's professional teams i don't think anybody should tank that's just my opinion i think tank is kind of one of them hot topic things it's something to talk about but i've been hearing it a lot like well oh it's a lost season but for some reason this year it's been kind of all over the place. Maybe it's because of Matthew Stafford's giant contract. I don't know what it is, but Barry Sanders left this this team because he was done. He was tired of losing. Uh, Calvin Johnson had to get money back because he was tired of losing. And I saw something on TMZ like he's never, ever playing football again for any team. So the Detroit Lions just sapped all the energy 
all the the love and the drive out of that man that he was willing to give money back in order not to play for this organization. So if that doesn't tell you anything, two major superstars who get who had fuel in a tank decide to leave rather than to play for the Detroit Lions. So anyway, guys, it's Derek P. Fields. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, we'll see what we got in store for this weekend with the game. Um, I'm going to tell you what. I did say I wasn't going to watch the game, uh, but 3,000 views. I don't know, guys. Let me know if you want me to watch it because I'm willing to watch it for three 3,000 views. You guys obviously are interested in something. So, uh, But as far as, you know, I might just catch the highlights or something like that or, or do a post-game show uh, not having seen it, maybe watch some highlights, um, stuff like that. But... I really do appreciate talking to you guys and, and making these videos. So I, I hope you guys uh, like them and I look forward to talking to y'all later. So it's late. I'm tired. I don't know if you can tell, but I am exhausted. So I'm gonna try and get this video out as soon as possible. And I will talk to you guys later. So Derek P. Fields is out. Stop talking about tanking. Peace.